Hey everyone, welcome back to Andy Demos. Today I'm checking out a dual boost unlike any other. It's the new Poppy from Flower Petals. The Poppy Dual Boost is a clever new design from Flower Petals that houses two different boosts, each with their own unique circuit. The red side gives you high headroom op amp based boost based on the original mini Poppy. It not only has lots of output, but tone and bump controls that work in tandem to deliver a wide range of boosted frequencies. The white poppy is a different flavor of clean boost using JFETs and a Baxandall tone circuit with famously interactive bass and treble controls that can produce a wide range of EQ curves that also affects the mid-range. On top of being able to stack both effects for extra grit and tone shaping, there are individual inputs and outputs for each side that lets you insert any pedal in between for a pre and post boost sandwich. Another option is to place each boost anywhere in your signal chain such as one at the beginning and one at the end. The Poppy Dual Boost accepts 9 volts and converts to 18 internally for high headroom and is built and designed with high quality components in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Let's begin with the white Poppy side and I'll just start flat with that back sandal tone circuit and then manipulate those bass and treble frequencies which actually affects the mids as well. Now to get a scoop sound, I'll just increase the bass and treble. And while we're at it, I'll just increase the output a little bit more to get some natural overdrive out of the Hampstead Artist 60. Now let's try a similar thing with the red poppy and this has a sort of different arrangement with the EQ. I'll set it flat by just backing off on the bump and then wherever the tone is set that's the frequency you're boosting. So if it's low it's going to boost low end. <laughs>
So as you heard, with the tone around 1 or 2 o'clock and the bump increased, you get some nice mid-range boost, which is just perfect for getting cocked wah sounds or just something to help those leads poke through. Now let's get some different settings between the two and stack them. Let's try something you can't normally do on a two-in-one pedal, and that's change their order. So I'm just going to grab a simple patch cable, and you can see that I'm coming out of the white poppy into the red. The white poppy is doing the brunt of the work with the volume cranked up, and this JFET circuit really has sort of a nice grind to it, so that's why I put it first. And I've backed off on the bass and treble to accentuate the mids. Meanwhile, the red poppy is just adding a little bit of bass boost to make up for that, and just a little bit of extra volume to really push the amp into overdrive. Those individual in and outs on each side of the pedal also allows you to insert one or more effects so you could pre-boost and post-boost that pedal. Of course you could do this with any dirt pedal and just you know change the mid-range character like put a fuzz in there. But let's try something a little more unconventional. I'm going to be placing the Bell Epoch Deluxe right between the red and white sides. So basically you could slam the front end of that analog preamp, get a little bit more dirt out of the repeats, and then step on the white poppy to get more volume overall. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Well, that's a look at the Poppy Dual Boost. You could really use that pedal in so many different applications. For more information, you can check it out at flower-pedals.com. Thanks for watching. It's been a lot of fun, and I'll see you next time.